I'm here because of one important development that is going on in Nigeria right now, and this development is unbelievable. Something like this never happened before. Never in the history has there been anything like this in Nigeria, and everybody is talking about it as well. And that thing is Air Peace Nigeria Limited. Owned by a Nigerian known as Alan Onyema. Currently, Air Peace has 33 commercial aeroplanes. It has never happened in Nigeria where one man owns such number of aeroplanes. And this man is just a young man. He's not old. And the reason I'm talking about him is not because of his age, is not because of anything, but the employment Air Peace has created in Nigeria. It's unbelievable. Based on what Air Peace said during the interview with Araya's News, he said he has over 50,000 workers, directly and indirectly, working under Air Peace. That 50,000 workers is going to double at the end of this year because he has ordered another 33 airplane that would arrive Nigeria before the end of the year. Over 50,000 people, but, but both direct and indirect yeah. uh, uh, employment. I own over 30 something planes and I, I have about 33 orders made, paid for, that are on the line coming. So at the end of the day, peace will be owning over 60 aircraft. I don't think there's any airline in Africa, in fact, most part of the world, they don't own it themselves. They are financed. And this is a talk of the town because Air Peace has already started going to many places internationally, like London route, India route, Dubai route, South African route, Ghana route, so on and so forth. The new airplanes that are coming, the owner of the APs had already said that they will be used for America and also UK routes with other European countries routes. And this is unbelievable. A lot of people are now queuing in and the registrarian their name for employment. And this is the reason I'm here. I'm here because what a peace is doing is unbelievable. If every Nigerian is as patriotic as Alan Oyema, things would have been different in Nigeria. And today, he has made it. He is now a billionaire, a man who has 33 airplanes, not on dry lease or wet lease, the one that he has paid for. And he also ordered 33 new airplanes, exactly of the number he has. Making his 66 airplanes in his name by the end of this year. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Nobody has ever imagined that somebody from Nigeria would cause such a great change in aviation. But it is happening right in our eyes. And this is the reason we are here to talk about APIS. He is amazing. What we are seeing is unbelievable. Therefore, we call on other Nigerians who are rich to think like Aleno Yama. Don't think, think about the profit you are going to make sometimes. Think about how to help the humanity, how to help the society, how to help your country be patriotic. That patriotism in you is what is going to generate income for both you and your country. If we have about 60 and Lenin Yama in Nigeria, things will look different. I have seen so many rich people who have less than what Alan Onyema has, but you see them, they have 20 Ferraris. Some senators have Ferraris in Nigeria, not one, not two. Limousine everywhere, parties everywhere, stealing money here and there. And after the money has been stolen, they don't even know what they will use the money for. From what I know presently, there are so many senators whom their vehicle cost billions. If they think or if they really think of representing their community, what they would have used that money they are spending on international vehicles for is to use it to create employment, build industry. Most of our senators don't have a single person under them apart from their gate man. And that is the reason I see this man as exception. What he is doing is unbelievable, and every Nigerian must make sure that Air Peace stand. You must make sure that no matter the challenges to lift Air Peace up, because that will also encourage other millionaires or other people to start business like Air Peace, business that will help society, help our youth, employ our youth, remove youth from the street. There is nothing more important than that. I'm happy when I heard that Air Peace has started London route and immediately he started the price of A tickets to London. 
went down beyond 50% reduction. Is that not a good news? Because the problem Nigeria has is that there is nothing Nigeria produces. There is nothing anybody outside is buying from Nigeria. Even we, the Nigerians, are still buying from outside. Each time you buy tickets from British Airways, you are actually increasing the strength of pounds. Each time you buy a ticket from KLM, you are stretching the power and the strength of Euro. Whenever you buy a ticket from APs, you are actually increasing and stretching the power of Naira. And this is the reason we are calling upon everybody who is creating a job to keep on doing so, because any country which cannot provide for himself, whether by aviation, whether in industry, whether in transportation, that country can never be rich. And that is the reason Nigeria economy is always shaking, because we depend on international products. But by the time Nigeria begin to produce what they eat, fly their aeroplanes, the economy of Nigeria will rise. And this is the reason a peace has to be respected. Because what I've seen is marvelous that I will urge everybody to join into the creation of businesses, to join into production, into manufacturing, into taking youth out of the street, because that is exactly what everybody needs now, not only in Nigeria, now I'm talking about Nigeria, but also around the world. The world entirely needs production. We do not need people who make money at be driving Ferrari everywhere, limousine everywhere, Jaguar everywhere, Porsche, all these expensive cars. Why there are people suffering in your community where you don't have anybody working under you? Why are you spending that money? Are you not ashamed? You come from a village where a majority of the people are poor, and we are buying cars that cost $200,000, $1 million, and you think your head is correct. Use that money and buy tractors. Be proud of how many people walking under you more than which type of car you are driving. This is how good people think. It is foolishness to see Africans be driving most expensive cars where their villages are suffering. Are you happy to see your village are suffering when you are the only one who has money? And that money, you use it to spend for only one car? And this is the reason I respect Ali Noyema. Ali Noyema does not have expensive car. It doesn't have Ferrari. This is how he contributes to the economy and the growth of his country. Look at the majority of all these Nigeria billionaires. They prefer to go and spend billions abroad. And later, everybody will be saying that the country is hard. You are actually contributing to bring your country down, but you do not know. Anytime you transfer 200,000 to different country, you are actually promoting that 200,000 to that country by buying their cars. If you are patriotic, what you would do is to use that 200,000 and build a small industry. Even if it is pencil manufacturing company, use it to build. Then you stop people from importing pencil. But no, you spend it in cars because you have money either because you are a musician, you are a rich man, or you are a politician, you are an actor, you made money, you begin to enjoy a loan. Look at people like Hanley Noyama. Which type of car is he driving? Which type of car is Dangute driving? Look at different millionaires who are thinking about the growth of Nigeria and think which type of car do they drive? You who have just made a little money, you spend all the money that you're supposed to have used to live to your community. You spend it unnecessarily on cars. When you die, that car is finished. Nobody will remember you anymore. Whenever you buy a car, each day car spend on your hand, the value goes down. Each day, it goes down. In 20 years to come, that car will be useless. Well, thank you very much for watching. I do not want to make this video too long, but today I come to show you the good work of Ali Noyema. So may God continue to lift people like Ali Noyema in countries like Nigeria and different countries in Africa. Because with people like this, hunger will be talk of the past in the next 20 years. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates.